So for step 15, installing the electronic speed controller, we're actually going to do a couple of other things with this step too. Um, because it's not just a matter of putting the uh, speed controller down, but we need to put the receiver um, and install the switch from the ESC into the chassis. Now you're going to see in these instructions that it first shows your receiver, the ESC, and you know the typical setup that we normally see. But you're also seeing that they're showing what's called a CPR. Um, this is, I would say, relatively old technology. I'm not really sure why they have put it in the re-release instruction manual. Um, these are fairly hard to find. And for the most part, everybody is using the receiver as a separate thing and the ESC as a separate thing because we want to you know, not necessarily stick with a Tamiya setup all the way through, whereas this is pretty much the, the receiver and the ESC um, all in one. So more than likely, this isn't going to be something you're going to be dealing with. This is what we're going to be dealing with. So I will set this up and we will um, put this all into the car. And of course, there's the bits that we're going to need to get. So I'll get those out and then we're going to have to um, connect the motor wires and it shows you what to do there but we'll go through that in a minute so I'll just grab everything we need and we'll finish this step so I think the first thing we'll do is we'll install the receiver and the ESC before we do anything else that way everything is actually in and attached to the chassis now you're also going to see that they want you to use double-sided tape to install both both those things now the, on the ESC, you'll also notice that they're saying keep it over to the left hand side because there is a hole here and there is an antenna coming off of the receiver, which I think we're going to end up putting up this um, piece right here. So we need it open and not blocked so it's out of the way essentially. But there's a couple of things that I want to show you with this. So because I do multiple videos and um, I don't need to have multiple radios I use a velcro for the receiver you don't have to do this you can use your double-sided tape but for me I'm going to be installing it using velcro and I found these fantastic velcro pieces that I can just peel off put down and put the receiver down and voila the receiver's installed so for me that's just easy because then i can take this on and off um, when i'm switching vehicles now when we get to the esc you can see that it needs to be off to the side because we've got this hole right here and we need to make sure that the speed controller is on that side now you can see if i put that there and this is how I'm intending on installing it. It's a perfect fit. It's out of the way and we still leave the hole open. So since most of the, of the speed controller is going to be on this top side, what I'm doing is I've measured, you know, you measure this out and you can see that essentially we need to cut it right about, I'm going to say there. So I'll just grab my scissors. And we're going to cut and just do a check for sizing. Yep. So we'll unattach one side of this. I know that's going to sit like that. So we need to be on the back side. So I'm going to attach that to as far to that side as possible, since most of it will be on the other. Perfect. And then we'll peel off the backing. And then I'm gonna turn this around and get it into position there. So there we go. There is our receiver and ESC installed. So now let's work on the switch. And you can see that they want the wire to come in like 
that so that the wire is actually facing the front. Now, in order to do this, we're going to need to unscrew this because you see this was an on-off um, switch plate but we don't need the on off switch plate because this is gonna get screwed into the chassis. So you can see how it says on off, um, on off. Uh, none of that's gonna be seen because it's being screwed down to the chassis. So we're just gonna take that plate off And then this is going to sit down there just like that. So if we turn this over, there's how our switch is going to be. But we're going to need to grab our little washer with that screw. And I'm going to stick that in there. So let's just use this because the magnetic screwdrivers are nice. Now I'm just going to do this temporary. I'm not going to screw it in all the way. Grab the other one. Same thing. So I mean, you can move this back and forth, slide it around. I'm just going to center it, more or less. There we go. So there we have our on-off switch in place. And the way that's sitting, you can see that the cable is at the front and then moves back to the speed controller. Now, you're also going to notice um, something else, and I think it's worth taking a look at. Obviously, we need to connect the motor wires, but later on, if you move forward in the step, you'll notice that the, since the battery is down here, this has to be pushed back and go down um, to reach the battery. Notice how the wires are pulling? So, I would suggest that you take those wires and feed them back through the middle of that before you plug them in because you see now your your battery cable is free and so are they so if you've got the tble 404s then i would suggest move, making that move so that they're out of the way now when they plug into the motor it's not affecting this wire um, and it'll plug into the battery that much easier so let's plug in the motor now, let's go back to this diagram that I said we'd refer back to later. I need you to understand right off the bat, you may need to ignore this stuff altogether because I'm gonna have to ignore it because it's wrong. And the reason being is it's showing you that the red and the orange um, are the positive leads on the ESC and it goes to yellow. This is showing that the black or the blue is the negative and it plugs into the green. This is very general information and you should be referring to the instructions that came with your speed controller. I'll give you a perfect example. Here is the instructions specifically for the tape tble 4s And if you look at this, it shows that if you're using a brush motor, which the standard 540 is, blue is minus, yellow is plus. So if we go back to the instructions, what was it showing? The yellow is the plus on the motor, because this is correct. The motor is correct. 
The yellow is the plus on the motor. The green is the negative. And that's saying that we need the blue wire um, for the negative. And this is the yellow is positive. So you see, go back to that. Yellow is positive. So we're actually going to go yellow to yellow, blue to green. Yellow to yellow, blue to green. Again, yellow to yellow, blue to green. So this instruction is wrong if you, if you followed this along and thought you were doing it correctly. So highly suggest you go to the manual that came with your speed controller. So let's connect this the way that the instructions for the speed controller are telling you to do it. So based on what we just found out with the instructions, we're going to go yellow to yellow and blue to green. So these are our cables, and this one would be if we were doing a brushless system. So this wire is not going to be used. So if you're just starting out building these kits and you think, oh, oh I've got a wire in it, where does it go? It doesn't go anywhere. So we're gonna end up figuring out a place to put it so that it's out of the way somewhere. And I don't know, I'll f I have to figure out where I want, how I'm gonna do that yet. Um, I'll decide later. But that is essentially it. So it's yellow to yellow, blue to green. We've got our receiver in place, we've got our ESC in place, and we've got our switch down below. Now, another point, if your kit came with the, the uh, Hobbywing 1060, this system is not going to work because this is designed for a Tamiya switch and so it will attach easily. The hobby wing ones are much smaller, so it won't work. So you're going to need to come up with a place to install it that works best for you. Um, I th would imagine um, because this, this kit has the body that you can just take off and on with the pins, you actually could act stick it up here. Um, because it's a, it's a little, it's a small one. You could have your on off switch here and that way it's accessible just by taking the body off but there isn't going to be an easy way to do it by putting it here you could try doing double-sided tape but from what i remember the way that switch is the sticky side is actually on the side not at the top so if you have the hobby wing one you may want to put it up here or wherever you think is best. The only thing I might suggest is that since this is gonna be an open hole, you may wanna cover it with even the double-sided tape to stop dirt from coming inside the chassis. So again, if you've got a hobby wing or a different type of speed controller, the switch may not fit. This does because it's Tamiya. So anyways, this is now fully complete. So 15 is done. So now we're gonna move on to step 16 and attach the uprights. Yeah. 